Cool. Hello, everybody. My name is Alec Johnson. Uh, I study uh, classical guitar and music therapy at Berklee College of Music in Boston. And uh, what got me into music was I studied the piano when I was a kid, and I just kind of noticed the the therapeutic effect that it had on myself and others. I know I remember, I remember even my cab would come up and and listen to the the music as I played. So yeah, that's what what brought me into music and what brought me to study music therapy too. And that's about me. Cool. Thanks for that, Alec. Um, how far along in your studies are you? Uh, I I'd say I'm about halfway. I've got another two years left. Great. Great. And then Shane, if you and your dad want to tell us a little bit something about you too, that'd be great. Sure. What's up, everybody? Uh, hope you're staying safe. Um, thanks for tuning in. My name's Shane. This is my dad, Smitty. Hi. Some of you guys might know him. Uh, some of you older guys might know him. He uh, played a lot of music up here from 1985 yeah, to 95. Yeah, that was pretty much our uh, source of income yeah. for the house. And, yeah, um, you know, some construction work and stuff like that. So music's just always been part of my life. Uh, started playing with a guy named Al Ferguson, um, who was owned house and home up here and uh, was in a band called the Hondells in the 50s and just watching the two of them play all the time. I was inspired. So that's uh, why we're here. Yeah, I just want to share a little bit of that with you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Also, Shane, let me know that um, this is one of the times that he and his dad get to perform together, right? And you haven't had so many opportunities for that. And this might be one of your last times being able to do it. To yeah. So uh, my voice ain't what it used to be. His voice uh, is starting to go. No, no. Yeah, his voice is about gone. <laughs> no, so, we're uh, glad yeah. then that we get to see that. And I'm glad both of you could make it because we also actually haven't had any families there are definitely a lot of families in big bear that do different types of performance um but i haven't been able to wrangle any of them on this so i'm very glad that we're getting a father-son duo because I. Think oh cool yeah very cool nice. um great okay so for those of you in the audience if you want to take a look at that chat box hopefully you'll be able to see the song list that have come up um otherwise if anyone feels like requesting please feel free to just drop a comment in the chat box Otherwise, we're just going to get into it. Um, Alex, I'll ask you to start. And if you just want to pick something that you've prepared, um, I'd like you to perform whatever you have ready and whatever you like most. Cool. I guess I'll start with some jazz. Thank you. 
That was made for Wesley. It was a gypsy jazz song. That was great. Thanks, Alec. Oh, oh thank you. Um, that's wonderful. We got one request already. Thanks, Tori. Um, for Shane and his dad, if you could do that, your original. Could you please play Tell Me Are You Happy? And could you actually explain that a little bit and maybe where um, the inspiration for that came or how, how that came about? Um, yeah, it, it, <laughs> I, I won't go into the whole story, um, but I, it's basically written kind of to sound like pining after a girl after a lost um, relationship. And really, it's if you listen to the adjectives, it's you're wanting them to be happy um, because you know it's it's just a song about really moving on after something like that. So it, you know it's written kind of from both sides in a weird way. So, but yeah, it's all about the adjectives. Great. <laughs> nice to hear it. <laughs> awesome. Another. Yeah. Tell me you're happy Now that gone Tell me you're happy That you have Tell me you're happy. Tell me you're happy. Happier with it. Tell me you're lonely. Toss and turn the night. Tell me, do you worry? Everything's gonna be alright. Tell me, are you happy? Tell me, are you happy? Found some 
Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely liked it. I think that was great. We, um, with the last time we had instrumentalists, we had Ingrid do a funny original, which was also kind of nice. It was like a silly little ditty about oh, being at home. I, I, know, I know her funny originals. They're, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think good. it was also really beautiful to hear that song. Um, it, yeah, I think it was just um, so well done. And it's amazing to think that that's an original that you've made oh thank you so much it means a lot thank you yeah oh great i'm glad we could hear that one <laughs> yeah um okay we'll switch back to alec um we got a request for house of the rising sun oh nice oh you out <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> I wish we could play together on this. I know, I was trying to jam with you earlier. question for Shane and his dad to answer too but do you want to give a little um I don't know background on like the different genres that you played and kind of what interests you about each one 
Oh yeah, I, I certainly am all over the place. Um, like I said, I started with classical music, so I studied classical guitar. And right from there, I, st- I started a punk band. So I yeah. went from classical to punk rock. Um, and it was really funny because everything that I did in classical music, I, I uh, turned over to the, the punk rock music. And it was really cool. And then, um, you know, after that, I, I just love all types of music. I love gypsy jazz and reggae and, and rock and stuff like that. Uh, and I play gigs, so, you know, people love to hear all types of songs. So I kind of have all those uh, different songs up my sleeves. Yeah, I think that's great. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get you to play some classical too towards the end. But um, I think it's fun because a lot of people tend to also stick more, or they're more comfortable maybe performing in a certain type. So I think it'll be really nice to see your range and kind of you slipping in and out of different genres because it takes a different style of voice or style of playing. Um, so I'm glad that we'll be able to see all of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And how about Shane, you and your dad, is there like a certain genre that has either meant something to you or kind of um, called out to you or um, gives you different challenges or joys? Um, well, some of the stuff that we're playing tonight, like the ventures is like some of the earliest music that I just kind of gravitated towards. Yeah. Um, and I heard it, they had records of that kind of stuff. Um, uh, you know, a lot of oldies, a lot of Elvis, um, some old country, uh, a little bit of 90s stuff. Yeah, a lot of instrumentals too, because I mean, rock music before the words and all that was a l- instrumental, like coming out of the classical and, uh, you know, jazz and big band kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I did, yeah, I did trumpet all through school back when there was a music class in high school. Yeah. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I I didn't realize we had that option. Oh, yeah, I know. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm just kidding. Um, So, yeah, so classical music, uh, uh, punk rock, same as Alec. Um, I was in a punk band when I was 16, and um, up in, I was in a couple different punk bands, and so I was about, 17 18 just turning 18 and then uh, i started listening to like the cure and hendrix and the doors and from there it just expanded into electronic i love electronics reggae yeah i mean if you know if it's original and you know um just you know gets you moving and thinking as well then i i I love it you know yeah That's great. No, I think it's really wonderful when people are able to kind of experiment and and both listen to and perform different types of music. Um, I did notice that you have a couple songs from the, you have, I think, three songs from the Ventures, so. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot of those songs, too, like, uh, I mean, Ghost Riders is just kind of funny. Like, I don't listen to this stuff anymore. Like, um, you know, I, I play a lot of different stuff, but it's kind of fun to stay connected to those roots and whatnot. And yeah, yeah Ghost Riders is like the first song I ever learned on a guitar when I it was like 13. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't even remember. You were young. Yeah. I was, and I just picked it up by ear. I've never had any formal training on most instruments other than trumpet. Wow. Okay. Music and, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hit you with that dose of nostalgia because we did get a request for Ghost Riders. Oh, Lordy. So, <laughs> I'm interested to hear that now, knowing that that was one of your first ones you learned. Yeah, 20 years later, and I still don't remember it. <laughs> it's okay. We'll take it as it is. <laughs> All right. Um. Thank you. 
Dios. my brothers we just loved when they play it yeah no and it's um it's interesting too how you said that you picked up guitar just by ear right yeah yeah i'd wake up some mornings i'd be up by myself and i'd grab his guitar and i'd put on like uh you know like mtv or vh1 when that was a thing too <laughs> um but I'd sit there and just pick along, just try to find where they were at and see if I could like harmonize with it or whatever. And really in the school, I never got to be first trumpet. I was never first trumpet, but it really helped me learn the thirds and the fifths and how to harmonize and write those kind of things, you know? Yeah. Well, and I was going to ask if it was odd going into like a more formalized setting when you were in school because you had picked up guitar right and that was a more by uh, ear on your own yeah sometimes i would uh you know I, i'm slow i was slower than most of the kids you know and just like couldn't catch up couldn't learn at the same pace or whatever so i would have to memorize a lot of hmm. things um after it i'd have to practice it on my own and yeah memorize it for myself and that's where i think that's where like now I just memorize a song in a day and we'll like go play it at open mic or whatever just to challenge myself. Yeah, well that's so fascinating and I think that is its own special talent. Well I think it's because some people do really well with like the regimented sheet music and all of these things, right? And they Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's me too. That, yeah, that's it both, you know, however you can play is a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, but I love it. I think it's great that you've kind of had a taste of both, um, but that guitar is something that can be a little bit more off the cuff for you. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it feels more natural. Like the trumpet, I, I still play it once in a while and still, you know, try to read music and print music with a, a previous band. Yeah, I, you know, the keyboardist w was really good at reading music. And so that's how she would essentially have stuff. I type it out on the computer and have it translated into sheet music and stuff, it, you know, whatever works. Yeah. 
uh oh, okay, we might have to we might have to make you and Alec come back, but find a way for you two to be together, and then we can do a range of instruments. I might force you two to come back and impress. <laughs> no, no. I'm sure, Alex down. I'm down. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, good. Okay, now I know that that there are uh, multiple instruments that we can ask you to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Thanks, Shane. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then Alec, we have Autumn Leaves. Whenever you're ready to play that. Oh. Shit. <laughs> 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 if you're ready, we can also take a pause on that. Up to you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot the words of that song. It's been a couple of years since I played that. That's okay. Um, I, I promise I'll learn it for next time. <laughs> okay. What would What would you like to do then? Uh, well, there's Fly Me to the Moon. That's kind of the same thing. Okay, let's go with that. Cool. upon the stars let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars in other words hold my hand in other words baby kiss me fill my heart with song let me sing forever you are all i long for all i worship and adore in other words please be true in other words i love you Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah, wow. Um, Alec, I wanted to ask you too, is anyone, does anyone else in your family do any instruments or singing? 
Yeah, my father plays uh, music. Okay, nice. He plays guitar. So when I first picked up the guitar, he, he was pretty much my first teacher. Yeah, wow, that's good. That's fun. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I th my grandmother was a performer, and there's a picture of her. She, she produced an album, and she, uh, there's a picture of her taking a bite out of her vinyl record. music did she perform what kind of album did she do she was a singer so i think it was like jazz type of stuff wow have you been able have you gotten to listen to any of that music i, I still have yet to hear the album actually yeah we gotta find it yeah <laughs> you gotta dig through the old the older things but yeah everyone in my family they're um uh not many people uh play music yeah it's interesting how that's fun though that it is a little bit of a generational thing um through your family so that's great um shane can i ask you and your dad oh actually i'm gonna remind everyone in the audience just because tori has been requesting like crazy <laughs> Take her out. Um, you also i know that probably the two of you can't um, you aren't close enough to your screens to see the chat, but both she and her mom are very impressed and they're saying that you are all doing such an amazing job. <laughs> but for everyone else also, um, just to remind you, if you, I guess it's easiest if you're on a computer, but if you move your mouse over your screen, there is in the middle at the bottom, a little chat bubble and box. Um, so that's where the info is for all the songs that I've listed. I just put it back there again to the, uh, right now. So if you feel like requesting something specific, please feel free to leave a comment. Other than that, I'm going to ask that Shane and his dad do um, an Elvis song, the All That I Am. Oh. Yeah, we kind of turned it into an instrument. What movie is that from? I forget. Follow the dream. Follow the dream. Yeah, it's from a movie, but man, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty song. But then we just turn it into an instrumental again uh, to give props to Al Ferguson. He used to pick the lead, and uh, it was just so pretty. I wanted, you know, I wanted to do that, and so mm -hmm. I just kind of learned it. And then we turned it into an instrumental later on, which is kind of fun. So yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah, not a lot of instrumentals you know, nowadays, so it's not cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Originally, it was like part of a soundtrack for a movie. Yeah, you know, you got conned into doing all those movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was one of the songs. Uh, Angel is a really pretty song from like the soundtrack. And <laughs> Flame and Stars, awesome. Yeah, there's a couple of those songs that are like whoever wrote them did a good job. <laughs> They're really great songs, you know. And you know, Elvis had a heck of a voice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> um i like i have a question for one of your you put wagon wheel is that the country song yes rock me mama like the wagon i would love to hear that just because i think that we haven't heard much of country <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Seventeen hours, pick me up, kill dark wood flowers, and I'm hoping to rally to see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like the wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Trucker had a feel he had a nice long toe. 
He's the head of West from the Cromwell Gaps to Johnson City, a Tennessee nerd. Got to get move on before the sun. I hear my baby calling my name and I know that she's the only one. If I die a rally, at least I will die free. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, anyway. Mama rock me, rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like the southbound train. Oh, mama rock me. Oh, mama rock me. So good, Alec. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> well, that one's a fun one. Um, yay. Okay. I realize it's already 817 and I feel like we haven't gotten to hear enough of any of you. Yeah, right. So <laughs> I want to switch back to, since no one's requesting, Shane, um, I'm going to ask you two what you want to play. What do you want to play next? Well, I don't know. You want to play like Dream or Every Day? Every day. You want to play every day? All right. All right. Buddy Holly's awesome. Everyone thinks he just made these three chord songs, but uh, Raining in My Heart, he just hangs on the G, walks the G up through the fifth, the sixth, the whole for grad. It's He's a genius. I, I always like, I always really like Buddy Holly. So it's kind of like an alternative spin on a Buddy Holly song, I guess. Okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Every day it's getting closer to going faster than a roller coaster. Love like this will surely come my way. Hey, hey, hey. Every day it's a getting faster for everyone. Said, Go ahead and ask her. Love like this will surely come my way. recording of that all these songs I recorded with my dad just for fun you know I'll have to put it out there on nukes. no not that one we did some stuff on ukulele yeah I actually got this country side old man to play ukulele <laughs> <It was> awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that's so yeah. much. Yeah. Do you, um, actually, this is a, I should have asked you all this earlier, um, but is there anywhere that you post music? Like on, do you have any videos or anything? Or also, um, I don't know, any. I have a band camp page. I don't really like post a whole lot of videos on YouTube or stuff like that. I love to make like little videos and things like that, but I just, you know, they're out there, you know, from various projects for sure. <laughs> okay, so maybe if we Google you, we can find them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good as much as I hate to admit it. I'm just <laughs> Alec, what about do you, or also are you performing around Big Bear? Yes, actually. Um, starting next Saturday, I'll be playing there every Saturday uh, at the Big Bear Barn Grill, which is right next to Captain's Acreage in Walgreens. Oh, okay. So what, every Saturday, at um, uh, what, what time is it? Uh, right now it's 4 p.m. Uh, that might change, but uh, you can always uh, follow up on my personal Facebook page. Yeah. I'm always posting my videos and whatever, whenever I'm playing and stuff like that. Okay, great. That's good to know. Sorry, I should have asked that earlier, but um, that's good. I'll make sure to uh, post that when I post the video, just in case people are able to go see you actually live. Cool. Flesh. <laughs> um, okay, Alex, we'll, uh, sorry, Alec, we'll pass it to you, um, and you can choose what do you feel like playing? Well, I have... Um, I have a song to wrap up everything. I also have a, I can play classical guitar. I think it's a good time to play classical now. Yeah, let's do a little bit of that. We'll pass it back to Shane. And then, well, we'll see how we're doing. If everyone feels like sticking around and listening, we can listen a little bit more. But yeah, I would love to, to get to hear some of that classical, if you wouldn't mind. Cool. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, I studied music therapy, and what I like to do is um, play music that I, I write compositions that are kind of um, a journey in itself, you know. Um, for this song, it's called Coming to Clarity. And the whole journey is basically going from a turbulent mind to a calm and peaceful mind. And music is a great way to do that. So listening to this piece, I invite you to just, you know, feel whatever comes up in you and allow yourself, allow your mind to drop into a place of stillness. Thank you. 
beautiful. Thank you. Um, when I don't know if I would know any composers, but when was that? Like, is that when? What time period? I guess is that from? Oh, actually, this is an original I wrote last week. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna watch this recording and listen to that with a whole different perspective. Oh my goodness, I thought that was something, um, yeah, like a, I don't know, some older classical song. Wow, that was beautiful, Alec. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad we got to hear that. Oh, yay, thanks for sharing that with us. My pleasure. Great. Um, okay, well, if everyone's all right, if we can actually, if we can switch back to Shane, um, and if you want to want to do one more song, um, you can pick, or one or two, whatever you feel like maybe you haven't gotten a chance to do yet today. Um, and then we can switch back to Alec just to kind of finish it off for us. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Um, let's just do the last vocal one that we have, I guess. Or we can do an instrument. Yeah. Or do you want to do like walk the run? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a, an Everly Brothers song. It's usually pretty slow. It's usually like dream, 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 dream. Yeah, it's like from the fifties. It's really pretty, but it's I, like, yeah, I kind of sped it up, I guess. But it's fun. Right. <laughs> so put on your dancing shoes. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> fun spin on it yeah I've heard the original but I would argue that I might like your version even more yeah a little jazz in it or something yeah <laughs> yeah oh that that's was a so fun one yeah I, I like that one <laughs> thank you <laughs> um, cool. thank you yeah Alec do you want to come in and kind of maybe wrap us up a little bit yes ma'am all right 
Podemos? Say bye. You know they say guitarists spend half their time tuning, and the other time out of tune. Take your time. <laughs>
Thank you. My I pleasure. like that one a lot. Thank you. Um, quick before we go, <laughs> Tori said, wow. Um, she, Tori, you're like a statue. That's very impressive. <laughs> she also wanted to ask, um, how many hours a day do you practice? And I guess this depends on whether or not you're performing and whatnot. But Alec, how much do you practice if, since you're going to be performing every week? Uh, well, I'm in the middle of school right now, just kind of in the trenches working on it. And I'm pretty much practicing all the time. I'd say maybe I'm studying composition, so doing a lot of writing. Okay. Uh, on average, about eight hours a day, I guess. Wow. So it is, yeah, that's, that's what you're doing. It's kind of a, it's a job. It's study, I guess. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I love it. Well, thanks. I'm glad you took the time to have a little bit more, maybe hopefully relaxed of some time performing and playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always love to play for people. Thanks. And then Shane and Smitty, how much, um, I guess at different times, how much would you be practicing or kind of fiddling around? We don't play as much as we used to. Um, honestly, with the quarantine, I've like learned like a couple songs that I found like challenging and so I spent time learning that like I learned Beatles Blackbird and I've just been working on that and uh, yeah. so I mean I've spent a little time here and there I spent a lot of time on my computer and stuff too uh like writing and recording um it, it just all depends like what the mood is or something I don't know it's hard to when I'm playing a lot I, I play more I, I suppose but yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of, you know, just enjoying the outdoors more than anything, just getting, you know, out in the forest and the rivers and whatnot and just, you know, finding places where no one is and <laughs> things like that. And, you know, just enjoying the serenity of that. That's true. You got to take advantage of the the good weather right now too right and the season oh it's beautiful out. yeah yeah, yeah oh well that's great well thank you all three of you so much oh i did want to read i don't know if you shane um can see the comments but ava or eva commented great job guys love the show sending love to shane and smitty that's that's probably my mom okay <laughs> i'm just kidding She's, uh, she's probably, actually, I made her a ticket booth for tonight's show, and she's probably still sitting there trying to sell tickets. <laughs> no, but thanks. Oh, yeah, and Tori says thanks, thanks to you all for sharing your talent. Um, yeah, thank you three so much. I think it was really a treat to be able to hear the guitar um, and hear guitar and vocals, because I know that... Um, we haven't gotten a chance during the weekly performances that have been going on to, to get that much instrumentals. So that was wonderful. And I hope um, everyone who joined, thanks so much for joining in. And I hope you were able to, all the connections went through well and you were able to listen to them. Um, and I appreciate it so much. <laughs> right on. Yeah, thanks for having us. And yeah, everyone stay safe, all that good stuff. Of course, yeah. Yeah, putting this on, Julie. Sorry? Thanks for putting it on. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, we might have um, an encore in the future, and maybe I'm going to ask Shane if he wants to pull out that trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on the song. I'm not playing Jurassic Park again. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for all of those who are watching, stay tuned, because <laughs> maybe we can finagle something in the future to have Alec and Shane back. That would be really fun. So I'll, I'll message you too about that and see if that would be possible. Awesome. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, everyone stay safe. Have a good night. Um, and thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Peace.